9. Given that 3 and h plus 1 are the roots of the equation, find the possible value of h and k. So, we know h x square minus sum of root x plus product of root is equal to 0. In this case, x square plus k minus 1x plus 9 is equal to 0. From here, you can see that sum of root is equal to this one is negative, right? This one is positive, so negative k minus 1, which is also equal to sum of root. So the roots are, so the roots 3 and h plus 1, right? Sum of root is 3 plus h plus 1. So in this case, negative times k is negative k. Negative times negative 1 is positive 1 is equal to 3 plus h plus 1. Negative k plus 1 is equal to, this one is 3 plus 1 is 4 plus h. So you can see here we have two unknown which is k and h. So you should see which one is easier for you to find. Uh, for product of root, it is 3 times h plus 1 is equal to 9. You see here you don't have, you don't even have the unknown k here. So you have to find h. Okay, h is equal to, so you bring this one to the left, you have negative k plus 1, 4, when you bring to the left, you get negative 4, this one is negative 4, negative k minus 3, 1 minus 4 is negative 3, this one is h. Product of root is equal to, so product of root here is 9, which is equal to 3 times h plus 1. 9 is equal to 3 times h is 3h. Three, 3 times 1 is plus 3. So here 3h is equal to, you bring 3 to the other territory, 9 minus 3, so 9. 3 when it comes to the left, you, it will become negative 3. 3h three is equal to 6. h is equal to 6 divided by 3 which is equal to 2. Now you have the value of h. And you know that h is equal to negative k minus 3. When h is equal to 2, 2 is equal to negative k minus 3. So here we change place, k is equal to, here you have negative 3. And when 2 comes to the right, it will become negative 2. So k is equal to negative 5. This the possible value of h and k is h is equal to 2 and k is equal to negative 5.